Welcome to Electronic Diversity Visa Program 2025. In this tutorial, I will be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can apply for this United States of America Electronic Diversity Visa Program that is currently open. A lot of people have applied but they got rejected. And some people, may, it may be because of the applications, the photo size and some requirements that we are not met. Don't worry guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you all the step-by-step -step guide on how you can properly apply for this visa and get your response. And also, I'll be showing you the photo size that is being required and also all the requirements that is needed. So you can also try your luck and get this diversity visa program. This is a lifetime opportunity you don't want to miss. Without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see right now, come here. This is travel.state.gov, US Department of State, Korea or of Consulate Affairs. So you come down. This is the official website. Don't be scammed by anyone. This website is still currently open. As you can see, what next? You come over to US visas. It said Diversity Visa 2024 applicant. All DV 2024 Diversity Visa program applicant must be found eligible for and obtain their visa or adjust status by the end of fiscal year 2024. Beware of fraud and scams. Some websites and emails attempt to mislead customers posing as providers of official U.S. government information. Complete your own application form online. The online entry application is easy and is free of charge. You are not paying anything for it. The processing requirements are the processing requirements below are for GV2025 program. GV2025 program online registration. The registration period for 2025 program begins on Wednesday 4th October 2023 at 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time it EDT GMT4 it concludes on 20 it concludes on Tuesday November 7 2023 at the same 12 noon submission of more than one entry for a person during the registration period, we disqualify all entries for that person. DV2025 program instruction. The English version of DV program instruction in PDF format is the only version on official translation. In addition, languages will be added on to this web page as they become available. How? Do you apply for this visa application? See the diversity visa application webpage. Beware of fraud. Okay? Beware of fraud because there are a lot of fraud out there claiming that they are what is it called? They are this and they are that. Beware of fraud. Don't fall into the harm of scanners. Okay, let me show you how you can easily fill the form. Okay, the first step as you can see is to submit an entry form. The second step is selection of applicants, and the third step, if you are selected, then the fourth step is to confirm your qualification. Fifth step is submit immig immigrant visa alien registration application. And the tenth step is 
after the interview, the applicant's interview, you have to prepare for the interview. It's step by step. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, start from here. Okay. Step one is entry, submit an entry, selection of application. The third one is if you are selected, you confirm your qualification. After confirming your qualification, submit your immigrant visa and any registration application. After that, you confirm your documents. Submit your supporting documents. After your submission of documents, you come to interview. After interview, you prepare for the main interview. After the interview again, you have to prepare for another interview. And after the interview, it's interview, interview, interview. Because this is United States of America, the associate, okay? Submit an entry. There's a limited period of time during which you can register for the diversity immigrant visa David program. During each fiscal year, each year, the Department of State publishes duties instruction for entry the DV program. This instruction includes dates of the registration period during which you will be able to enter. All entries must be submitted electronically on the electronic diversity visa on their website. Okay? Let me not waste too much of your time. I'm just trying to make sure you understand what you are being you want to be you want to be about to embark on okay as you can see here he said there is no cost to register for the dv program i strongly encourage to commit to complete the entry form yourself without a visa consultant or visa agent or other facilitator who offers to help if somebody helps you, you should be present when your entry is prepared so that you can provide the correct answers to the question and retain confirmation page and your unique confirmation number. Okay, I'll be showing you everything you need to know about this DV visa program that's currently going on. Okay, after this, the enter selection of applicant the step by step process okay this is everything you need to know right here okay so how do you apply that is the next thing how do you apply for it okay come here if you want to apply you come on to this website Come here, click. Okay, now come here. Tap what is written here. Okay, T for T G. Click submit. Then this is the way. This is. The website okay what next you have to enter guys you have to be very careful with this okay you have to be extra careful with this okay and you have to enter your family name first okay let's take my questions enter your family name That's the first time your family name is Amos. What is your name? You enter your name. And your middle name. Oh, this one is my name. You enter your middle name. You enter here. Then what next? You come down. Then your gender. Are you male or female? I'm a man. Your date of birth. Click the month. Which month is it? Is it October? Or let's say for instance it's February or March. You can say okay. It's March the day. Let's say 10. The year. 
Messi, Nazi, Nazi, two. Come down again. City where you are. City where you were born. Which city you can put your city? Any city at all? Where you were born in Nigeria, here, come down, country here, come down again, country of eligibility for the DB program. Okay, this is the most important part of it. Okay, your country of eligibility will normally be the same as your country of birth. Your country of eligibility is not related to where you live if you were born in a country that is not eligible for the db program please go to explanation of country of eligibility to see if there's another option available in your case guys if your country is not eligible it's not eligible there is no explanation because number one there are a lot of people that is applying for this so they have a lot of options before they consider they consider you my dear, you can only take the grace of God. If not, you must enter the country from which you are claiming eligibility. Which country are you from? You can click here to search if your country is eligible. Okay? Are you claiming eligibility in the country you are from? See? No? Come here. Which country? Nigeria. Let's see if Nigeria is eligible. Let's see. Don't know yet. Because I've not filled the form before. You see? Nigeria is not eligible. So you are in Nigeria. You cannot apply for it. Okay? Sorry guys. For my Nigeria brothers, you cannot be able to apply for it because Nigeria is not eligible okay let's see other country that is ever eligible let's go let's see for africa which countries are is eligible in africa let's see so you won't be wasting your time let's just go down ghana is eligible saint guinea is eligible there are so many countries okay Nigeria, why, why, why? Well, like this. Liberia is eligible. Latvia is eligible. Lebanon is eligible. Okay. Let's put down more. Let me see if my Uganda people is eligible as well. Let's put down. Rwanda is also eligible. Rwanda, your people. You guys are eligible. Okay apply this my Senegal Senegal is also eligible South Africa is eligible South Sudan is also eligible let's see for Uganda is eligible Togo is eligible as well Uganda is also eligible okay Zambia is eligible Zimbabwe is also eligible. There are so many African countries that is eligible, but Nigeria is not eligible for it. Let me see if Kenya is eligible. Kenya, 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 Kenya. Let's see. Kenya, okay. Kenya is also eligible, okay. Kenya is eligible as well. But Nigeria cannot participate. So sorry about guys. So the several twins photograph. Photograph must be submitted at the time of E D V entry. Photograph that do not comply with all specification, including but not limited to recency of the photo, must be taken in the last six months. 
composition of the photos and unacceptable, unacceptable background are, are grounds for disqualification of the entire entry. Any manipulation of photograph that alters the facial characteristics is ground for disqualification of the entry. See example of the photos on this page. Okay, you will use one of the following method to enter the image into e -DV. Take a new digital image. Use a digital scanner to scan the recent photograph. Come here. Let me show you the photos that is accepted right now these are the examples of the photo that is accepted okay photos example starting november 1st 2026 eyeglasses will no longer be allowed in new visa photos your photo or digital image is a vital part of your visa applications Review the examples below to learn how your photo or digital image should look. We recommend you use a professional photo service to ensure your photo meets all the requirements. The acceptance of your photo or digital image is at the discretion of the U.S. Embassy or Consulate where you apply. These are the accepted photos as you can see these are the accepted photos this is the example of this star photos as you can see said please review the tabs to the left for examples of both accepted and unaccepted photos to submit with your visa application keep in mind the basic size expression head background print quality and anything that might obscure the face, hair, shadows, gray or glasses, etc. Helpful photo tips are provided on many of the examples. First of all, is start with your photos. Be accepted, start from your photo. Okay. Acceptable photo is clear and in color reproduces skin tones accurately and is properly exposed with no shadows as you can see accepted photos over here this one is accepted this one is not accepted this one is not accepted this one is accepted and also this one is not accepted as you can see there is shadow here we are not using it for school this is a visa photo so you have to be very careful it has to be a plain white background okay and you also have to look very neat and sharp you don't have to look low even you see this one is neat and it's sharp but the photo background is not pure white and the photo is dark okay these are the accepted photos take note before you start your application go to a photo studio and take a very good photo like in Lagos state when you go to a shop you can tell them you need america photo passport they know what to do okay if they don't know i will advise you take as you are watching this video yours screenshot this photo part and show them okay show them this is what you want screenshot the good one and screenshot the bad one as well once you have your photo you can click here choose new photo i will leave you the link of this website in the description box below for photo for the visa program everything you need to know about the program i will be leaving it in the description box below please do well to check it out okay and the next one is your mailing address in care of your address one you have address line you have address line two you have city or town you have this suite 
county, province or state. Okay. In our country we call it state. Okay. So that's state or district. Then next thing is your postal code or your zip code. If you don't have, you can simply click if you don't have colors in your country. You can click your country, the country you are from. Click it. You search for it, okay? The name of your country. You can just put the name of your country and then you continue. Country where you live today, your current country of residence. That is the next thing. Click it here. You want current country of residence? You click here. Phone number is optional, but I will advise you to put your phone number there. Then the next one is your email address. Let's look at the example of the email address. Use your name and your surname to create your email. If you know you haven't done that, create a professional email. It's very important. Not your name is Alex John and you are, your email is Love Jackie. <laughs> it's very funny, you know. You have to create a professional email. Use, let's say for instance, your name is Alex John. You can say Alex John. Maybe if I use mistakenly use this for email before you can add Alex John one at gmail.com. If you haven't created any email before, you can use Alex John as email at gmail.com. The next one is to confirm your email address. Okay. You go to the next one, which is what is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today this one you don't have to lie about it like as, as i always talk about vocational school you can see vocational school is here as well okay it's a primary school only high school no degree high school degree vocational school some university courses university degree some graduate level courses master degree some the, the doctorate level courses that rates degree you must have a, a minimum of high school diploma reflecting the completion of a full course of study vocational school or equivalent degree are not acceptable or be a skilled worker in an occupation that requires at least two years of training or experience to qualify okay to see if you are if your occupation qualifies for a DVC, you can simply click here to see if your qualification is there. Okay, what we, we are going to click it later, but let's go down first. What is your current marital status? If you are married, you can be married. If you are single, go single. If you are divorced, I will advise you put it there and if you are married before and then you divorce you need to have all your divorce documents if you have never married before just click on married if you have never married you can click on married then class what is the next one which is how many number of children do you have okay how many number of children do you have you are going to put it here after that you click continue okay because you haven't filled all the form that's why it's showing this okay you haven't filled everything so you have to take your time you see fill everything is very very important okay what type of job So guys, what is your job? What is your current job? You can simply click it, put it here, and you search if your job is there. Okay. Check first of all, check if your country is eligible, and check if you, your job is there on the occupational list. Okay. After you have checked all this, then you can be able to continue the application process 
Alright guys, thank you for watching to the end. See you in my next video guys.